going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Rum Reviews here with a different type of video. Now I normally don't do videos on Mondays unless it's like an update kind of thing and it's this is actually not a type of update vlog or video of any kind. I'm going to be reacting to a video made by one of my favorite anime content producers, content creators on YouTube. His name is Gigguck. If you guys don't know who he is, please check out like his stuff. The link to this video is actually going to be in the comment section below as well as the description. But honestly, um, just a little quick thing. This is something that he uploaded yesterday and it's something that I, I, I feel like I need to react to, especially since I'm one of the reactors to Iromanga Sensei. Um, I'm one of the many, uh, but he definitely does this type of comedy style centered type of video editing. It's great. His commentaries are fantastic. That accent is just beautiful. <laughs> uh, I know I'm, I'm definitely gay for it. But <laughs> yeah, Gigguk is a great content producer. I really recommend checking out his stuff if you guys like anime related stuff. Um, especially in a con comedic type of medium because the, he, he nails it. I mean, of course, all comedy is subjective, so his comedy may be hit or miss for some people, but I recommend you at least go check him out if you guys haven't done so already. But without further ado, let's actually check this out. Iromanga Sensei, a modern masterpiece, because we all know <laughs> this is a modern masterpiece. I do say that in, good, in big quotations. We all know it's a pretty bad show, but it, and it hits on all the bad things and and it just works and it just goes with it and us as viewers we just go along with it we eat it up and we know we know it's bad for us but we continue to do it anyway so without further ado let's go watch Gigax Iromanga Sensei a modern masterpiece let's see how this goes I actually am listening to audio because hopefully this won't get copyright for any reason I've had had problems but we shall see so hopefully the audio isn't too loud I'm gonna go make it pretty low just in case I don't overblow it uh, and lower the volume on this really quickly. What is that? Um. I'm going to jail. <laughs> Occasionally, we are blessed with a show which upsets the natural order of things and oftentimes can change the way we view entire genres or it's media. So true, the original Mobusu Gundam revolutionized the way we saw mechas, grounding it in a commentary of war and politics. Akira opened up the door to international acclaim. I've actually never seen a Gundam. What I know. animation can do that stands uh, to this day. But today, I would like to bring attention to a currently airing show which I feel is a classic in the making that will change the landscape and will be talked about for years to come. Damn right. The masterpiece that is. Is Eromanga Sensei. <laughs> Masterfully disguised as the typical fan service harem show we've seen a million times every season, one can easily assume that this is just another otaku bait anime appealing to the lowest common denominator. But the more I watched, the more I came to the realization that Eromanga Sensei is a true masterpiece of our time. Now, understandably, you may be skeptical with words like masterpiece being thrown around oh God, these just, days, but I assure you, it's such those satire. of us who understand can attest to everything that this show has been able to achieve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eromanga Sensei is the latest addition to the it's glorious so Emoto genre, which has seen a huge surge within anime in recent years, along with genres like the Isekai genre, the Slice of Life genre, and the dear God just... <laughs> Please kill, kill it. it. Yes, I was right. For those who are unaware, Emoto <laughs> is a Japanese name given to the little. S what the fuck is with that face? Sister, and the genre normally involves a focus on her and her Oni Chan, which translated oh, to God. English is basically what she calls her. Fuck buddy. Coming but, from the yeah. same lights novel author that wrote the revolutionary My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute, a show which everyone thought was going to be the good old incest bait and switch, only to realize that the show was doing exactly what it said on the fucking tin. Damn right, his it went through with it. aims to push the boundary even further on his eternal mission to alienate every sibling pair on Earth and possibly the entire cosmos. This time, it focuses on a young light novel author who discovers his shot in little sister. Who's not really was that's the, the big that's the big point see Eromanga ass Kensei, who has been drawing the illustrations for him this entire time and thus we follow our daily adventures as our lead meets a bunch of other underage girls who vie for his attention against his not related by blood little sister it's so true this is not related 
donated my blood because that's really important. Boom! Now, you may be asking yourself, how can such a series be considered a masterpiece? I mean, it just sounds like another super trashy show. This is a common misconception as Era Manga Sensei isn't just a trashy show. High School DxD is a trashy show. You take High that back. School of the Dead is a trashy show. Okay, yes. Himoto Umaru-chan is, is a trashy show. Yes. Eramanga Sensei is something else. It is an enigma that transcends the limits of trash itself to become something I beyond. guess excess is in there. I couldn't tell what the bottom of was. Garbage that takes oh, the lowest common Korneka. denominator and divides that by zero. Oh. This isn't just trash. Why it's on, a like full on, on fucking landfill and in doing so has become the ultimate work of art. Not all heroes wear capes and not all art belongs in a gallery but if a urinal can be tastefully presented as an art piece then we must ask why can't we do the same with a lolly saying i love dick but of course not all art can be appreciated by everyone which is why to understand the full extent oh. of this masterpiece one needs to fully accept who they dicks. really are dick in buddhism I love it is said girl. that the root of all suffering is attachment and eramanga sensei has a similar i was half listening and half so watching see, the video this attachment Please. you must first sever yourself from before you will be ready appreciation can only be achieved once you let go of everything self-esteem shame Shame, human decency, <laughs> dignity, and any chance of your parents looking at you with pride. You must dedicate years oh, of your God, life developed in me. the world of anime. And I'm not talking about good, well-written shows. Fan service, glorious jiggling tits, <laughs> uncomfortable fetishes, adorable anime girls, becoming one with the idea of panty shots. Throw yourself off the deep end with no safety net to catch you, as only once you are fully dedicated <laughs> to this lifestyle will you reach true enlightenment and come to the realization of the one undeniable truth of this world. What? I need to. Anime is trash. Yes. And so am I. You see, damn right. You are trash, damn right. You first becoming. I'm a horrible piece of shit. Human being. Higher plane of degeneracy, will you begin to realize the miracle that has befallen us here? Because. This is beyond what everyone thinks it is. It's not really an incest show because they aren't related by blood. Wink. And that makes it totally acceptable. And you see, it's not this weird sexualization of 12 year old lollies because they're just anime characters that don't even exist. <laughs> Officer. Some yeah, it's like, I was like, just to keep topping itself every week, which is a testament to how revolutionary it off. is. Every episode, you go in thinking, "There's no way this show can go any lower." Episode six. And then against all odds, that it does. See, yes. What other shows may say? Panty shot fan service. Era manga has the guts to say Moe Lolly incest siscon bondage panty shot fan service with a dash of O Chin Chin. If there was a single flaw in this show, it would be probably with the title. Era manga sensei is short, relevant, and to the point. But with only two words, I think there is vast room for improvement as this is nowhere near the recommended word count for a standard light novel title. That's Some true. Some more suitable examples could have been My little sister can't be this cute but this time she draws lewd art and is 12 surely there's no possible way we can make this go trashier next week right or my personal favorite <laughs> fuck it i will go <laughs> to hell. this is not mentioning Sorry. one of the greatest opening and ending sequences to ever grace the world of anime okay and yes no, it's not because of this expertly drawn calf muscle <laughs> oh, thank the you dance previous anime dancers may have spread through this community through a yes i agree everyone hated harder dance because it was so popular but look at this thing why do you need to put all that effort in when you can just wave your arms around like some kawaii twat? Oh, you know, it's whatever. Maybe I'm overstating it. I mean, it's just a cute girl waving her arms around at the end of the day, right? It's not like I could watch this on repeat for hours or something, you know. It's, it's not, I've done it's, that. It's not that addicting. I don't, I don't have a problem. Hey, I'm back! Since then! Just don't understand. Yet somehow, <laughs> against all odds, the show has oh somehow God. managed to dodge a best girl. Oh one. God, as Sydney, we all have that a was great. Understanding of whoever we choose as best girl, we are all losers anyway. I mean, we all know that Sagari is going to win, so what's the point of resisting that when we already have someone top tier? Okay. Maybe you're someone who thinks someone like Amelia is a good waifu. No! But if you do, that's completely fine. I have the highest respect for garbage men and the work that they do. But you have to ask yourself, is she 
see a socially awkward Emoto Lolly who draws lewd pictures, steals panties, and permanently sounds like she's doing ASMR? If the answer is no, then that might be a sign for some self-reflection. You'd think it ends here, but it goes even deeper, as episode 8 blows everything out of the water. Yes! See, with a scene in this episode, we get a shot of Kuroneko. I was so happy. The show indeed takes place in the same universe as Orimo. But we can also confirm that both Mahoka and Sword Art Online exist in some form, also through references. The yes. implications of which are massive, as this could indicate the beginning of a franchise to rival Marvel itself. Sagari, Kirino, Miyuki, and Sugu could join together to create the world's first Emoto cinematic universe. We're getting the ICU, baby! It's the ultimate appreciation of things only the Japanese can do. See, the Japanese are absolute experts at Take creating my money. little inventions you didn't know you needed until you saw them. Just go into any Daiso and you'll see what I mean. I didn't know a Prit stick of water would be something I wanted until I saw that. A tie that doubles up as an umbrella would be hella useful for living in the UK. And until I saw Ero Manga Sensei, I, love Vegas, I had play. no idea all I needed in life was an adorable Emoto to blush and call me Baka. <laughs> so by now you're hopefully more understanding of the masterpiece that is Ero Manga Sensei. A1 pictures have absolutely outdone themselves and I'm not sure what they could possibly do to get this work closer to perfection. <laughs> Women in business suits are ridiculously attractive. Wait a minute, did, did they just add a tournament arc? Tournament arc? In short, Era Manga Sensei is a masterpiece. A show we only get once a generation, which is why I can wholeheartedly say that we are witnessing this cultural revolution in action. It's a show that reaches this new is heights words of wisdom. Trash that transcends the idea of trash, and something that can only be admired by those few brave warriors who have it's given up. It's too bad he didn't everything. make this video. In years past, we will look Wait, at this time as the redefining era. We'll say the world was never the same after Era Manga Sensei. Era Eromanga Sensei contributed to world peace. Eromanga Sensei solved world hunger. Eromanga Sensei isn't just cancer. Eromanga Sensei gave me cancer. <laughs> and then cured it. <laughs> and then gave me AIDS and <laughs> Such a good video. Oh, no, no, please don't actually start that up. I've already seen that. Oh my gosh, that was such a good video. See, it's just his delivery on everything. It's just on point. Um, but I really would have liked to see what happens after episode 9 and he did this video. Because, like I said, there's still three more episodes. 10, 11, 12. So, they could really throw even more curveballs at us like they did with the Yamada Sensei. But we'll see what happens. We'll honestly see what happens. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, this old moto genre is too over the top and it's been over years. I can agree with that. However, they always have it as a shoehorn in rather than they actually have the moto as the winner. And in this case, yeah, Sagari is going to win. And... I, I want Elf Yamada to win, especially after that last episode. But that's going to into another topic in general. That's actually going into an actual breakdown of the actual episode. But I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, honestly, guys, that was a great video by Gigguk. Ira Manga Sensei, a modern masterpiece, and you're damn right. And he definitely sold it to me. That is the modern, master, uh, modern masterpiece. If we were to hang that, that would be the Mona Lisa. Me and Mona Lisa, the Van Gogh, the screw everything else, screw Da Vinci, This, this whoever made this, the creative or emo and... And um, Yoramanga Sensei, that will be him. Him, just make him out of marble and just stand there with this, a pen in hand and, like, pictures of his own sister in his other hand. But <laughs> that's it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this little different thing. Um, I, I might be doing more of this later on if you guys enjoyed it. If not, well, then you can just tell me to go fuck myself. I, and I'll probably go do that anyway. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!